adicta a la peliculina, al figuretismo. Y a... long trip <laughs> so after crossing the border I took a bus from there to Trujillo which was like 10 hours and I just arrived this morning uh, my couch surfer went to meet me there and then we're here at his place now it's like 12 p.m. right now so I might take a nap because you, when you travel on a bus even if you sleep the whole way it's not the same as laying down sleeping so I'm just gonna take a quick nap like an hour and then I'm gonna go to downtown and see downtown. I am now with Abraham, my host, my couch surfing. He picked me up from the station, we went back to the place, and now we're going downtown. Um, from downtown, I might grab a bus that is gonna take me to Chan Chan, which is like some um, ruins. I didn't know that, I didn't know there was ruins here, so that's actually pretty cool. And then I might go to those ruins, go downtown, and then tomorrow I'll go to some other ruins maybe do something else and then I'll go to Lima there's a few problems that I will tell you guys about that are gonna change the trip a little bit the main plaza this one's a really nice one more of what I I'm used to it's a big plaza the cathedral the municipal buildings and this one's really colorful really clean very open The monument, monument to Freedom, that's what Abraham's telling me about. And then if you guys can see like the buildings here, there are Spaniard, you know, the Spaniards conquered this area. These buildings, you can see they have like a very Middle Eastern style. That's because, you guys remember, the Spaniards were taken over by the Muslims. So they have a very, uh, not Muslim, but like Moroccan style to the windows and the shapes of the buildings. I'll show you guys an example in a little sec. So look at the entrance of this house. That's definitely Middle Eastern. And look at that balcony over there. It's made out of wood. You can definitely tell that it's uh, it's not your typical colonial, kind of like in Mexico. This one's more like Moroccan style. That's the only way I can explain it. I'm sure it's, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but that's how I explain this. Here's the, the main cathedral. Very colorful. This church is like recently painted, from what you can see. Well, from what I can tell, it's not the, the usual color. But then from here, you have like a really nice view of the plaza. It's very well taken care of. And it's probably, it looks nice because there's not many people. It's Sunday and it's Semana Santa, so that's probably why it looks less chaotic because usually these places are very packed with people yeah check it out over there there's McDonald's and that court check out these balconies guys So it's the central market. I'm gonna have some food over there. It's always good and cheap to go to places like this. So we start off with some soup. And here's a meal. And right now I'm on my way to the to the ruins. I'm not with my couch surf anymore. Abraham had to go somewhere else, so I'll just try and go there myself. We'll see if I can find a place. But more importantly, we'll see if I can come back. So this is the ruins. I guess you gotta walk like a few kilometers to the entrance. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know there was any ruins here in Trujillo. <laughs> Looks very weird though, there's a bunch of mounds of dirt everywhere. 
So guys, this is one of the temples. That's where the king used to sit over there, and he's telling us that these things right here, they're squirrels. If they have four lines, they're females. If they have three lines, it's a male. Then it's the squirrels, the ocean, and the, the sky. So guys, this is another room right here. What you see on the walls right here is uh, fishing nets. Like I say, they were really into the ocean and fishing and stuff. Side, many walls, many dame shape, many decorations. So this used to be their well where they kept the water and as you can see it's still alive. So guys this is the end of the palace and if you look that way there's the king's tomb and past that wall is the beach, the beach and the ocean. So all of these other structures that you guys see over here like little hills and mounds they're all the same. They used to be the same thing. It was like a world city, like we just saw back there. So every time a king died, they will make a new one for the new king. So that's why there's so many around here. But they've only um, they've only opened up that one. So <laughs> And one of their friends, and they cook like this food for us. Sabrina. Sabrina and you know. Actually, yeah, we're really introducing Abraham. <laughs> no, that's, bro. Um, Karim. 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 So they're friends. They're couch surfers, and they host a lot of people from what I've heard. So they're really cool guys. <laughs> <laughs>